Currently, there is a multi-day delay between payment and settlement for a typical cross-border transaction processed via the correspondent banking network. Conceptually, Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC, can be used to substantially increase transaction speed from taking several days to near real-time, while also reducing cost by up to half. The Multiple CBDC Bridge, or M-Bridge project, is a cooperation between the BIS Innovation Hub Hong Kong Centre, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the Bank of Thailand, the Digital Currency Institute of the People's Bank of China, and the Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates to enhance the efficiency, lower transaction cost, and streamline the regularity compliance requirements among different jurisdictions by using digital currencies and distributed ledger technology. To further test, improve and expand the functionality of the Embridge trial platform, a total of 22 private sector participants from four participating jurisdictions have identified 15 potential business use cases where CBDCs can be used to speed up payment and settlement. International trade, international trade settlement, programmable trade finance, supply chain financing, interoperability with digital trade finance platforms, Capital market transactions, atomic settlement of tokenized corporate bonds, securitized FX spot futures and derivatives, wealth management connect, digital native corporate bond issuance, dual currency FX derivative, other potential use cases, insurance payments, commercial payments, cross border low value payments aggregation service, cross border e commerce. The total value of international trade transactions between the four participating jurisdictions amounted to more than 730 billion US dollars. Given that the Embridge platform offers a unique opportunity to improve the speed and lower the cost of these transactions, the Embridge Steering Committee has given priority to this use case. Testing of sample trade settlement transactions across 11 industries has commenced on the trial platform. The project is using an agile and iterative development approach combined with a modular BRICS design that enables participating jurisdictions to contribute functionality, connectivity and interoperability with standing and future systems. The ultimate goal is to achieve a minimum viable product and eventually production-ready system that can support the full process of international trade settlement and, in due course, other use cases proposed as part of the project. We look forward to continuing our contribution to the international dimensions of this work, including by welcoming more central banks and private sector participants to our agile and experimentation-driven journey founded on the principles of do no harm, compliance and interoperability.